So I've already made a few videos about this quirky little device, the TX6 by Teenage Engineering. And in this video, I'm going to show you five very useful ways you can use the TX6 in your DAW. So we're going to look at how we can use it as an audio interface, a mixer, a scene launcher, an expression controller, and a hard synth in your DAW. Since I'm using Ableton Live, all the examples in this video will be Ableton Live. But of course, this will work for most other major DAWs as well. So let's take a closer look. So you can use the TX6 as an audio interface. And of course, the main purpose of an audio interface is to be able to connect external audio sources. That's pretty straightforward. So they will have to be connected to one of these six inputs right here. Obviously, you can only use 3.5 millimeter cables. So here, I'm gonna show you how it works by connecting the pocket operator, the cord. Just like that. Now as a mixer, you can obviously use it standalone using the inputs right here, but you can also use it as a mixer in your DAW. So in order to do that, you'll have to map these faders and knobs to the various parameters in your DAW. So here I have this project open and we're having, at the moment we have these tracks playing. So here we can, press MIDI right here, or control M. And then we want to assign each of the faders in Ableton to corresponding fader right here. So if we map this one to number one, see this pops up at CC1. This one is number two, three, four, and five. We can also, for example, assign the pan button to this knob number, knob number one, track two to knob two, so on, just to keep it tidy. And now you'll notice we have full control. Obviously we'll get a lot of clipping if we crank it up too much. Now we can use it basically as a hardware mixer. So that's pretty neat. And another cool thing is you can control the synth engines in the TX6 using MIDI from your DAW and then record the synth directly into your DAW. So here I made this little video gamey track. So you will see here that I have a MIDI track without any plugin or instrument on it. So it's mapped with a MIDI from the channel to the TX6 to channel 1. Track 1 is controlled by MIDI channel 1. So here you see this first track is set to channel one, which is this one. Channel two, channel three, channel four, and so on. If I start the first clip here, you can see that number one is starting to play. And then start the next one. Then we have a drum on channel five. Kick on six. So a snare on five, kick on six. So everything you hear now is controlled by the clips in Ableton. 
and then route it to the synth engines right here. So that's a cool little way you can use the synth engines of the TX6 and add a hard synth into your project. Now another cool thing you can do in Ableton is to use this as a scene launcher. So if you're an Ableton user and you're familiar with devices like the Ableton Push or the Launchpad or other similar devices, you are probably used to being able to launch clips with your device. So you can easily do the same thing with the TX6, but of course you're limited with the amount of buttons. I like to use these small buttons right here, but of course you can also assign the knobs to do the same thing. So what I like to do is go to the MIDI map and then go to the scene launcher and assign number one to one, two to two, so on, like that. And now you can, you can see here I, we have a little arrangement. So if I press track one, scene one will start to play. Two. I'll start scene three. So that's a cool little way to use the TX6 as a little emergency launch pad. Obviously you're limited in regards to navigation ability, if that's even a word. And you only have these six buttons. But like I said, you can still assign the knobs even though it's less intuitive, but it can still be done. But when you're sitting and just making music and you have your MIDI keyboard, you just want to mess around with your clips and quickly launch scenes. This actually gives you a pretty nice workflow. Another way I really like to use the TX6 with Ableton is as an expression controller. Certain VSTs, like uh, very often orchestral ones, need a certain level of expression control. So in this example, I have the Intimate Strings by Spitfire Audio has several mappable parameters. So it has things like expression, dynamics, reverb, release, and you can also map these uh, parameters here, like tune, pan, and volume. And what's good about the Spitfire VST is that you don't have to go through the Ableton MIDI mapping. You can map the parameters directly in the plugin which gives you way more control over the recording of the parameters. So what you do here is that you simply right click on the fader you want to map, press learn MIDI CC automation, and then move the fader you want to control. So now this is movable here. Do the same here, track two. Here, this button is assignable. So in order to assign it to a fader, you need to Sign whatever is assigned to this right here. So currently reverb. Here you can see now it's movable. Now we'll use the a knob for volume and another knob for pan. So we'll just assign this for now. And then when recording you have full control over all your parameters. They're very soft. So that's a very useful feature that I like and use a lot. So if I'm traveling or if I'm just sitting in a cafe and I want to tinker a little bit with my music, 
so easy to just pull out the TX6 and have everything in this tiny little device. Expression faders, audio interface, clip launcher, synth, you name it. Everything in this tiny little deco card sized device. So that was it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you found it useful. If you like content like this, make sure to hit subscribe button because I post videos like this regularly. Please hit the like button. It always helps a lot. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, you can check out my other videos about the TX6.